All right, people, welcome back. to our Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a fake card that's a combination of Shadals and Infernoids. Not a love, lot of love for Shadals and Infernoids lately. You know, Klee's got a new card. Yang Zing's got a new card. Tellers are getting new cards. But Infernoids, I mean, since reasoning went down to one, we haven't seen anything of those. And Shadals, I mean, they got Construct Banned and No Shadal Fusion at one. We've seen a little bit of them, but not much. I mean, they're still a strong deck. Winter's still a bitch. But... Not much of them either, and we haven't heard anything about them getting any new cards, so it's just been kind of quiet. So, this person decided to go ahead and create a fake card that is a combination of them both. You're like, what? Like, yes, this one card can be used in both decks. So, we'll go ahead and look at this card, and if it was real, how helpful would it be? Would it allow the, would it, you know, bring, breathe life back into Infernoids and, you know, help their consistency in sending to the graveyard? Would it allow the Shadals to have a new, brand new boss monster outside of, you know, Construct being banned? I don't know. Questions to be asked. So let's go ahead and look at it. So this is L Infernoid Deconstruct. Okay, so L, like, L Shadal Fusion, I'm guessing, Infernoid, of course. And then Decon, like, like, Decatron, like, Deca, and then struck like construct i'm guessing so it's like a combination of it all like but a little bit of front eyes a little bit of shadows okay it is a fire looks like a sink 10 yes yeah, sink 10 uh fiend spelled incorrectly you oh, that, that's great now uh, fiend, fiend fusion fusion you sure i mean this card is looking it's looking the borders are looking kind of white here you sure it's a fusion mm, all right synchro effect monster i'll go ahead and put the corrections in the description below 2800 attack 3400 defense there's nothing to scoff at you know 2800 attack is always the attack barrier it's kind of weak for a level 10 i must say but uh, 3400? I mean, that's that's a fine booty. So you at least don't have to worry about getting Book of Mooned and tacked over. So, uh, card's interesting, you know. Uh, it's kind of really realistic for what Konami would do, but I see where you're coming from, you know. Uh, it kind of looks like an um, evil demon monster of Infernoid, but kind of like has some weird dark tentacles of, of like maybe like a monster from a Shadal. So I see you, I see you. It's, it's hard, it's just kind of just a little bit too detailed. Like it's not that often that Konami does art like this. Sometimes they do very detailed art, and it's like, yeah, you know, just look at like you know, like uh, Prophecy Destroyer. But sometimes it's just kind of like just a simple drawing. But this this is really detailed. So all right, uh, it is made with one Infernoid or Shadal tuner monster, plus one or more non-tuner Shadal or Infernoid monsters. So. Uh, as you know, both for Infernoids and Shadals have a Tuner monster. But do they have a Synchro monster of their own? No, neither one of them. It's really interesting. Sometimes we actually get that where it says, like, hey, here's a Tuner. Go ahead and sync it up. And it's like, well, where's my Synchro monster? Nah, you don't get one of those. And we've seen that a handful of times. We've seen Infernoids use Decatron and go into Mega. We've seen Shadals uh, use their uh, their Falco and go into plays like that. So that's interesting. So Decatrons may be able to... I'd say Infernoids can make this card a little bit easier with uh, Decatron being able to... Um, level modulate and possibly do that so you could possibly just simply summon this send like a level two infernoid monster decatron becomes level two summon like your level eight infernoid monster sink into this our shadal it's a little bit tougher spock is two which means that you need eight non-tuner which is interesting so you can do like maybe like one dragon or two dragons or one dragon and one uh you know uh Skomata, it's kind of it's kind of interesting, you know. It's kind of, Shadals are gonna have much tougher time, especially when you're considering what you're syncing with. Um, Shikinaga is who's Shikinaga? Is Shikinaga eight or nine? I want to say she's nine, so I don't think that's gonna work. Like Shadals, Shadals are gonna have a much more difficult time busting this out. But is it worth it? Is this worth it? So let's go ahead and look at the effect. So this card is treated as a Shadal monster, so despite not having Shadal in its name, it is treated as a Shadal monster. So it's Infernoid and it's a Shadal, so awesome. You know, it's a combination of them both. I, I mean, I really don't know story-wise, lore-wise, and, you know, Dual Alliance, uh, Dual Terminal 3 story, lore-wise, how related those two are. I don't even think they're on the same side. Um, I believe Shadals are the evil ones. But Infernoids are the ones inside Klee's. And I believe Klee's battle Shadal. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that we'd see Infernoids and Shadal's having a you know, similar monster. So, anyway. Uh, 
When this card is synchro summoned, you can send Infernite monsters from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of synchro materials used to summon this card. Okay, so there's your Infernite help. So uh, I don't see you using too many monsters. That's that's the thing, you know. Maybe maybe two, maybe three monsters, but I guess anything sending is better than nothing. So that's great. But I mean, how does that help in Shadals? It doesn't, you know. Uh, now, if you'd like to send some Shadal monsters. Uh, then they got their effects, you know, maybe send some beast, draw cards, draw, send hedgehog, but no, just says specifically you send Infernoid Monsters. So if you're playing this in Shadals, but not playing in Infernoid Monsters, you don't get any bonus off of that effect, so that's kind of eh. Uh, this card cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. I mean, 28 beta that can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects, that's nothing to scoff at. Uh, you can't be Castell, you can't be Dark Rebellion, so, I mean, you can still be Toby the Lightning, but, you know, nowadays, what can't, so, but... The ability to not be targeted by your opponent's card effects, that's nice. You can't be Book of Moon, so despite me saying, you know, Book of Moon sits you down with your 3400 booty, you can't be targeted with Book of Moon, so, uh, well, I guess we can just say, uh, that Darude, um, Mirror Force, you can get hit with that and get set down, so, uh, you see how your 3400 booty, even though you can't be flipped back, face back up, unless your opponent flips you up, but you at least still have 300, 400 booty, so that's nothing to scoff at, but, yeah. So, can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects, that's fine. Once returned during either player's turn, when your opponent would activate a card effect from their hand or graveyard while you have a Shadal card in your hand, you can negate that effect, banish that card, and if you do, send one Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard. So, this is the Shadal hack. So, if you're playing in Infernoids, you summon this to send more Infernoids, and then it can't be targeted. Well, if you're playing in Shadals, you're not sending any Shadals, but you get kind of this defensive effect where during any player's turn, you're going to activate a card or effect, period. So that that's very powerful. Very powerful indeed. It's kind of like uh, Nikki Minaj, I mean, Nikki Naga, I mean, Shiki Naga, uh, where monster effect is activated, you pitch a Shadal card. But this is just any card effect, period, uh, when you activate a card from their hand or graveyard. So if it's already on the field, then you can't do anything, but generally when your opponent activates a card from their hand, it's going to be on the field. So I guess if your opponent plays a card from their hand, like Regeki or something, you can go ahead and negate it. It's really weird, it's really weird. Because generally you activate cards from your hand, but then they resolve on the field unless they're something from, uh, or placed from a different place, so, you know, uh, but, you know, monster effects generally like, you know, for example, if I if this card could be targeted and I go cast out like some extra deck, I spin you, you know, that's not from the hand or graveyard. But, uh, overall, it's not a bad effect. It's really not. So, uh, generally, cards played from your hand are spells, so you can negate spell. Um, cards in your graveyard, maybe like in a foreign ride, uh, or Shadal Mirror, actually can go ahead and negate that, so that's pretty powerful. By, uh, pitching a, uh, Shadal card, uh, from your hand to the graveyard, and then you banish that card, so then it doesn't even get to sent to the graveyard. If it is uh, from the hand, it gets banished, so that's pretty decent. Uh, you can only use this effect of El Shadal Deconstruct once per turn, alright. Uh, and then last effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Shadal or Void Spell slash Trap from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so that's a little bit of something for both. Those cards that the graveyard, you can either get you know, you know your Shadal spells or traps, or your Void spells or traps. You don't see too many Voids, maybe like Void Dream if that, but not a lot of Void spells and traps being called, and of course Shadals. You have your Shadal Fusion, your El Shadal Fusion, uh, Core if you still play it, so that, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Overall, it's not a terrible card. I just don't see I don't see, you know, Konami making this, you know, creating a card like this. No, it's that. Uh, I was reading someone's comment right there, and then they were like, oh, you know, this would be kind of hard to make as a 9, but it's like, it's not 9, it's 10. You're like, you didn't count that right. Like, that's that's clearly sync 10. I thought I was mistaken in my count. No, that's 10. So, still kind of hard, difficult to make in Shadals. And the question is, is it worth it? Uh, maybe in Shadals. It gives, and, it's something to work with, and, and negating things is great. 28 monster I can't be targeted negates cards that I played from the hand or graveyard, so that's not terrible. You can go ahead and uh, negate the Doctor you know, like for example, you can go and get the Cosmos. Doctor Shoya can't target you. It can run you over, though, so you be careful of that, unless you're in defense position. Um, 
And then if you happen to kill the Dark Destroyer, and when it goes up in the graveyard, you can go ahead and pitch your stall monster to go ahead and negate and banish that Dark Destroyer. Although banishing a Dark Destroyer is kind of, eh, kind of like to negate it. And I don't know. You know, Dark Destroyer is kind of like that card. But you can banish it, but then you can get it back with, with Cosmic Town. But if I put it in, leave it in the graveyard, you can summon it back with, with Cloud Hunt and it wasted. So, anyway, uh, it's a fun card. If it, if it was a real card, I'd, I'd probably be like, Okay, that's fine. Something for Infernalites, something for Shadows, that's fine. But would it bring them back and rejuvenize Infernalites and Shadows? Definitely not. It definitely not. It's not what Aether deck really needs, and that's kind of interesting. It's much weaker on the Infernalite end. Uh, you just kind of send monsters, and it's just a 20 beat that can't be targeted. Once you're all in, you at least get some control, some negating. Uh, and since the Great Power, you can go ahead and add a Shadow uh, or Void spell. Or trap from your graveyard to your hand, but if it's not in there, you're not really resolving that. So it really depends on what point the duel that's in. And overall, like I said, it's not the greatest for cards. It really isn't. So yeah, that's really all I had to say about that. Um, if you guys have anything else to say about this card in the <laughs> in the comment section below, then more power to you. Tell me what you guys think about this Elwood and Fauna deconstruct. But overall, just nah, just meh. So I hope you get, that you guys enjoyed this fake card on Friday. I will be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.